On October 1, 1971, one dream was fulfilled while thousands more sprang to life when the doors to Walt Disney World opened in Orlando, Florida. While millions still flood the gates each year, Second Life gives visitors a chance to taste a little bit of the magic that Disney holds before ever stepping foot in the park. Welcome to Mouse World, Disney's Second Life counterpart. After entering Main Street, visitors can pass through Cinderella's Castle. The focal point of Magic Kingdom stands at 189 feet tall and took over 18 months to construct. Guests are no longer allowed to walk through the castle at the actual park, but here guests can view replicas of the tile artwork that lines the walls of the Royal Palace. After exiting the palace, head on over to the first Disney classic ride, the Grand Carousel. Pick your favorite horse or buggy and climb on. Right next door is one of the classic rides found at Disney. Jump on the back of one of the most beloved Disney characters of all times, Dumbo. Just as the ride goes in the real park, guests climb on for a simple but memorable ride on one of the few rides that have been there since the gates opened in 1971. And you can't visit the Magic Kingdom without stopping to see Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Ah, uh, you're in for a real treat. This animatronic stage show debuted at the World Fair in New York in 1964, and the show has been a hit ever since. Once you've seen the classics, you can begin exploring a few of the magical lands that are found in Disney World. Over in Frontierland, take a ride on the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. This family roller coaster takes visitors on a ride in a runaway mine car and up through the Thunder Mountain. This ride wasn't added until 10 years after the park opened because many thought it was just too expensive to build. But the designers fought to have it built and now the ride is loved by guests of all ages. And if you love that ride, be sure to stop by and try out Space Mountain. This black as night indoor roller coaster is sure to get even the bravest of hearts pumping as you jump on one of two rocket coasters that jet off into the dark. Although the ride entered the park nearly 30 years ago, the line to ride this rocket is still out the door today. And no visit to Magic Kingdom is complete without a visit to the spookiest place in the park. This is the story of a house. Not any ordinary house, but a house where the family plot leads through a creaking front door, where spooky rooms stretch, and all foolish mortals are welcome. A house known as the Haunted Mansion. And in true Disney form, end your trip to the park with a wonderful firework display. I hope you've enjoyed your tour, and there's so much more to explore when you come to Mouse World on your own here in Second Life. And as they say in the park, have a magical day.